So a quick lighting tip for a space scene. Um, so you've done all your, your main lights. You've got your model lights casting on the model, and then you've got your two. You've got a few space lights. So we've got one up here, which is casting on the top, which could be like a sun, and then and another ambient from the bottom. Um. So it looks nice. Kind of looks realistic. But if you did want to see a little bit more, you can do. So rather than having another light source, which could confuse things a little bit, what we can do is you can create just a plain object. You can make it quite big, although it's as if it's a planet. And then we can just bring it out a shot. And as you can see, it's starting to bounce up here a little bit, but we kind of want it to wrap more around the whole model so it's a good way of controlling the light not adding any more no more sources but just bouncing it back on the model a little bit so just lifting some of that shadow so that well that's done a massive job of it but we kind of want it to be subtle so we just get a little bit so we can just pull that back quite far these views are really confusing with the size of this screen so there we go we've got just a little bit there so we get a bit more information because we don't want like I said, we don't want to create any more lights. We don't want to create any additional light. And then also, this obviously, when you give it to your editor or or pass it on to the compositors, um, they've got more option to grade it down as well. Ignoring all the ACES stuff, obviously, but if they've got more play in the actual footage as well, then it's easy to add contrast and keep some of the details. Whereas if we give them the other image, they're kind of locked into that look. Just another quick thing. If you change the material color to maybe like you say we want to go to like a June planet this can start bouncing up yellow which again gives you like a more of an industrial look can you see here like it's just adding yellow on the bottom so it's almost like we're above a yellow planet so also doing stuff like that can help sell your renders as well without having to model a whole planet and trying to work out the way the light's hitting back. That's just a really quick way because we've got a light above the ship. So just to show the concept, if you're on a lava planet and it's really red, again, it'll bounce the red up, which is quite nice. So yeah, it's worth... It's, um, Octane's amazing at this. Other render engines are as well. It's just that because it's a path tracer and it's physically accurate, you can do stuff like this and it just instantly gives you more realistic looks. So, um, yeah, hopefully you found this pretty cool and I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, and don't forget to drop comments and a like if you like this sort of thing and we might do more of it.